Oh, oh, that's a bad head. And stop practically to your lips. Dale! Hello, everybody. My name is Jesse from Panda Watch. And today I'm here to fucking do the. So, for my birthday a few months back, uh, my 18th birthday, that, ladies. My friend went ahead and bought me this book right here. It is titled Making Him Sweat and Taking Him Down. It is a sports romance novel by Meg McGuire. <sighs> let me go ahead and let me go ahead and read the back for you here. These matchups are too close to call, but no matter which contender comes out on top, the other is sure to enjoy every minute of it. Mm, thanks, Chad. You're just a swell guy. Along with this, he also bought me a Frozen puzzle book and Twilight. I'm gonna go ahead and read some pages out of this. Um, some of the more, um, shall I say, voluptuous pages. Is that the right word? Wow. Playing Chubby Bunny with Peeps. Um, these are the mystery chicks kind. Uh, there's, there's ten of them, but we all know I could probably fit more than ten in there. Uh, these are actually a mystery flavor, um, and it says, Our creator food scientists had fun in the lab and added a secret flavor to our chicks. Is it fruity, salty, tangy? <laughs> we don't know. Wait, shouldn't you know? I mean, um, but yeah. So I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll read one paragraph, put one in my mouth, another paragraph. As far as dialogue goes, I'll probably read all the dialogue and then do it. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna read one paragraph first. Kinda, kinda easy guys into this. That you do. I'm so glad it hasn't been punched out of you yet, she sighed. I really ought to give you your bed back so you can get a few hours rest before you have to get back on the road. One peep. Ah, ah, ah. He gave her a hand a squeeze. It was big enough for two last night. Her face warm, but not as deeply as her heart. True. I've given up wanting us to make sense, Jenna. I'm useless at navigating any kind of human interaction. More complicated than hit that guy before he hits you. She smiled. Come here. He turned onto his sides, and the kiss was soft and sweet and lazy. Normally she had been beyond hesitant to let a boyfriend of less than six months see her this way, all blotchy from crying. No makeup, hair a tangle, but there was no etiquette with Mercer. No games, none of her precious logic. He'd seen her business like, seen her wild and impulsive. He'd taken her spooked, late night phone call and driven all the way back here to catch her sleeping in his bed. If he took her again, he'd get her as she was, messy and unsure. Great. She welcomed his tongue when he took the kiss deeper, his growing aggression feeling like a relief, a release. Take me, she murmured. You sure? I am. He left her just long enough to go to his dresser drawer, then set a condom on the side table. Jenna slept in a tee and shorts, and as Mercer climbed under the covers with her, the brush of his jeans against her bare legs felt all the more exciting. He climbed on top of her chest, warm against her breast, and they kissed for an exquisite eternity. Five minutes, or ten, or an hour? Forever wouldn't have been long enough. This connection felt so right, so grounding and simple in its core, yet pulsing with such passion. They shed their clothes slowly and in silence. Layers shunted to a tangle at their feet. She sucked in her breath as his cock glanced her belly. <laughs> Warm, hard flesh, soft skin. She studied his backs and hips with slow caresses, excited to have him in this light for the first time. Or at this time. She pushed the covers from him for a long minute. They admired one another's bodies, his face looking as curious and as fearless as she had felt herself. She tugged at his hips. Ready? Yes. He leaned back for the condom and slid it down his erection then brought his chest back to hers as she wrapped her legs around his waist. He entered her with a familiarity she'd never known with any other lover, as though their two bodies were designed exactly for this purpose. No other match possible. <laughs> Tell me what you need, he whispered, setting a slow, steady rhythm. She needed nothing more than this. No orgasm, even just proof that something in her life would feel this instinctual, beyond questioning or rationalizing. Just this. The deep, smooth slide of his cock hypnotized her. The soft tempo of his grunts and moans drawing her into him. 
She stroked his strong, strong back, reveling in the flex of muscle, feeling like a part of the greater whole with this amazing man. He must have been feeling something beyond mere all. However, and before long, his body demands grew harsher. She let her hips tell him she was a game for whatever he needed, mirroring his quickening thrusts, walking him home to. I'm close, he moaned. Take whatever you want, she held his head as he drove into her harder faster. Coordination. Mm. Oh, that's a bother him and stuck practically to your lips. Eight peeps. That's how many I could fit in my mouth. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright. Wait! Oh!